Found out wife cheated on me and confronted immediately. My wife is having an affair, I discovered yesterday. When she got home late last night, I addressed her gently about my concerns. We've been together for 10 years and married for less than one, but now that I'm in my early 30s, the relationship and my spouse have been a vital part of my life for what seems like an eternity. I was astonished when she admitted to having an affair and thought I was simply envious of her spending time with friends without me. I've been annoyed by my inability to get specifics. When it comes to getting details out of her, it's been like pulling teeth. On the one hand, I don't want to find out. On the other hand, as difficult as it is, I feel compelled to know. I'm typically a lurker on Reddit. But now that I've discovered my wife's infidelity, I feel extremely alone, terrified, and confused. I have no support system, and my friends have faded as time and space have passed. I simply wanted to get this off my chest and seek for advice since I didn't know where else to turn. What should I do next? What is the correct choice? And how should I make or perceive it? My wife's trip arrangements have been cancelled, but she will still go. I'll have almost two weeks to myself, and I aim to use it well. Exercise, relax, rediscover what I want to do for enjoyment, and perhaps most importantly, make an attempt to reach out and meet new acquaintances. I need some assistance with this because a grown but bearded guy sobbing at work is just unbecoming in this day and age. Update. Thank you everybody for your suggestions. I wasn't expecting such a reaction. A brief update for those who are interested and those who have reached out. I hired a lawyer. Our prenups are sound. I acquired all of the necessary financial information from my wife and the divorce will be filed this week. We've kept our belongings separate and we'll each depart with our own. It's a problem too that I have to wait 60 days after filing for the divorce before it can be processed and finalized. The wife has paid the fees, which I believe is reasonable. I didn't make the bed, and I'm not freaking out over it any more than I have to. We reside in an apartment, and we will sign the lease in her name exclusively tomorrow, thereby evicting me. I don't feel compelled to leave, but I've made the decision to do so. I'm in a better financial situation now, and I want to live in a fantastic location of my choice, where I want, and on my own terms. This also provides me the opportunity to Marie Kondo my stuff, which should enable me to concentrate more on myself. I'm going to approach this as a new beginning. She will continue to travel. I didn't give you all the facts, but she's traveling overseas to spend time with her family. And although I believe she should remain if she wants to work through this, that's not what I want to do. I'm okay with being given the time and space I need to recalibrate. The cat is the only hitch. I received the cat and I'm in love with it. The wife enjoys it as well, and to be honest, the cat prefers her to me. I'm not sure what to do with the cat, but I've got some time with the puss to figure it out. I don't have ill will against the wife to the point where I'm prepared to jeopardize the animal's life. Please contact me if you are a cat whisperer. Thank you once again, everyone. It has been soothing and useful to read through the messages in PM. I'll probably still seek professional assistance at some point, but for the time being, I got a plan. I prepared a to-do list, and if there's one thing I like doing, it's ticking boxes. Story 2. I 21 female, have an FWB 22 male, and am conflicted about dating again. Hello everyone, I'm returning seeking some advice. So, for perspective, I have a friends with benefits relationship with this man. Long story short, he originally stated he was searching for a relationship, which I wasn't at the time but thought I make an exception for, then I left town for a few months and the messaging sorta dried up, and when I returned, he was behaving hella different and appeared to want to do nothing but with me. I eventually had the courage to ask him, and he said he wasn't seeking for a serious relationship anymore, since he wanted to concentrate on business, etc but would want to maintain whatever we had going on if I was down, and I agreed to retain whatever we had. If you want more information, please see my earlier postings, where I explain everything in depth. Recently, I'd been really divided over a number of issues. I didn't want a relationship to begin with, but I believe while I was away, I idealized slash romanticized him a bit too much in my imagination, and the disappointment that he didn't want a relationship hit me more than it should have.
especially since I kinda saw it coming with him barely texting and acting so differently from when he used to take me on dates etc. I decided to maintain whatever we had since the was fantastic and I still liked him as a person. Which brings us to issue number two. I assumed we'd be genuine friends and speak about things other than cuddle after and so on, since that's what I've done with other FWBS in the past. To me, a FWB is a proper friend with whom I can speak as I would with any of my other friends while still being physically intimate. Physical intimacy to me includes things other than just like cuddling for instance. The lack of communication about anything other than, including small chat in the elevator up to my home, and is departing immediately after seems to be turning me off, but it also leaves me wanting more. I should definitely ask my FWB where he thinks we stand and what amount of platonic familiarity he is okay with. But I sorta want to do that in person, it's been about a month since I've seen him, and I'm beginning to wonder if he's avoiding me, and honestly, I believe the best I can get him to do is remain, and cuddle for an additional 5 minutes after, which is definitely not going to suit my needs. I'm also afraid I'll lose him if I go too far and ask for more, since I'm not sure what whatever we have going on really means to him. That is why I am thinking about dating again. I've never gone out searching for a romance or anything other than a casual relationship in the past. If I ever got into one, it was typically because the other person was looking for one and I ultimately decided to try, but I've never gone out looking for one on my own, and I have low self-esteem and a variety of mental health issues, so I'm not sure if I should even try to find something more than casual because I'm not sure what other than someone would want me for, and even if they did, I'd be concerned about weighing them down with my mental health issues. But I believe my romanticizing of my FWB has resulted in my wanting something similar to what I imagined we might be slash what we were before I left town, and I. Not sure whether I want that just with him or in general, but dating may help me find that out. I'm a little sorry about having to let him go if I do meet someone but maybe I should try for the sake of the part of my brain that craves that deep connection both physically and emotionally. As a result, I'm conflicted. I met another man online, and he's invited me out on a date tomorrow. I'm not sure whether I should since I still have emotions for my FWB, or at least the person he was when he was romantic and wonderful and took me on dates, and I feel horrible about going, and also because of the various other issues I mentioned above that would usually hold me back from dating. Should I simply go on the date, or should I attempt to work things out with my FWB first, risking losing him, if I explain my thoughts and things don't go well? What are your opinions, and if you believe I should do something different, what is it? P.S. If you read any of my older postings and notice that I say partner instead of FWB, it's because I meant partner at the time, since I didn't know what we were. I simply wanted to explain something since I've noticed a few folks pick on it. Edit. I just realized I spelled a FWB incorrectly. I meant an FWB, not an FWB, and I can't fix it now, so I'm praying the grammar police don't come after me.